Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Audie Cashin. Uh, I am uh, a certified one, one thing ninja, and I look like a ninja today. A certified one thing trainer uh, with the World Peace Center. And uh, my question for you is, do you want to create a habit, one powerful habit that can help you live out your life's purpose? Well, I've found mine, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. It is actually 28 degrees right now. so. Uh, so that's lower than freezing where you guys are. I know y'all do metric. Um, but I wanted to share with you uh, just how do you create a, a, a habit that you have in your life that's a powerful habit that, you, um, that you'll do every single day. So, um, Salam Alaikum. Adalat. Salam Alaikum. How are you, brother? So I wanted to encourage you in that because I'm actually doing some training tomorrow that is free training. Just come on, join on. I'm going to actually post it live so that you guys can all join in. But it'll be a conversation and a workshop around areas that I've had breakthrough in my life. A lot of times, the first thing that you have to do is Noor, Salam Alaikum. I am uh, Shoab, one of my friends, one of my friends that I met through Rehan. He calls me the uh, the Burqa Avenger because <laughs> I look like the Burqa Avenger. Uh, I think that's a, a woman, <laughs> the Burger Avenger, but maybe I'm, imp I'm, impos I'm, uh, I'm an imposter. Mian, how are you? Abdul, salam alaikum. So anyway, I just wanted to ask you, you know, what is your life's purpose? What is your life's purpose, first of all? And number two, what is a habit that you can set up that will help you support your life's purpose? So, so my life's purpose is uh, I want to help you find your passion and your purpose in life leading to ultimate peace. Thus, together we co-create world peace one individual and organization at a time. So that's my life's purpose. That's the organization that I serve, uh, the World Peace Center's purpose. And uh, so together, what we can do is link hands together, even though we have differences, even though we're in different parts of the world, we probably eat different things. But I'll tell you what, I ate a lot of good food, so um, I would imagine that I'm going to get some good Pakistani food here sometime here shortly, inshallah. So, uh, you know, you guys, I, I made full madamas uh, for our international meal the other day at our house with our neighbors here to introduce them to some of the Muslim traditions and hummus and lebna, which is more traditional of the Middle East. I know probably Pakistani food is maybe more similar to uh, Briyanis and, and uh, butter chicken and things like that, maybe chicken tikka masala. I'm not sure because I've never had Pakistani food yet, so you guys can introduce me to it. Um, Salah or Salam Alaikum. So I just want to say, um, you know, it's 28 degrees here, it's below freezing right now, but I'm going to be riding my bike because it's ah, Briyani. I love Briyani. So I have had Briyani only in the tradition of the Indian. Uh, some of the very spicy uh, ones, but I would say probably in Pakistan they have a different. Oh, I would love that Khalidi kebab. That sounds good. I'm I'm in for that. I'll have to look that up because, see, I love kebabs. I love uh, shawarmas, kebabs, Middle Eastern, Near Eastern food. Uh, you know, Pakistani food. I'm sure I would love, but I've never had it just yet. Specifically, uh, true original stuff, but. Uh, Anyway, how do we become uh, the people and the change that we seek? How do we become the people and the change that we seek? Well, it happens at a very granular level. I posted something from the Bible uh, this morning, you know, talking about the trials that we face and the things that we have to overcome are the things that leads us to our character, to building our character. Palau, ah, oh, that sounds good. I need to go back and go through some of these and actually pull these up. The challenge is the 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 recipes that I'll probably find are ones that are Americanized. So I won't know the pure, uh, you know, wonderful and delicious taste of, of those traditional Pakistani dishes, but I'm, I'm sure there'll, there'll be some. I know in Jordan, I don't know if you guys, any of you guys are in Jordan or gals are in Jordan, but they have uh, two dishes that I extremely loved, maglube and mansaf. Mansaf is like a yogurt kind of a dish with chicken or beef or whatever. And then uh, uh, maglube is like upside down. I think it means upside down something, upside down chicken or upside down stuff because they flip it over and they pour it out. But you eat it with your hands, which I love to do, and uh, the traditional way of eating and being in the floor and being around in community, you know, with people that you love, you know, people that you you appreciate, friends. 
And I just love that. I did Ramadan uh, when I was in um, Dubai, when I lived in Dubai, uh, and met, uh, uh, I actually make, uh, met Sheikh, uh, uh, wait a second, it was the father of, it's the grandfather of the Sheikh now, is um, Sheikh Maktoum. I actually make, met Sheikh Maktoum and, uh, during Ramadan, so that was a real gift, that was a real blessing. And so, anyway, I've, I've pursued that. That was many years ago, like, I don't know, 1990s, 1990-92, uh, during Ramadan. And for Eid, my mom actually met with Sheka Sheka and actually had dinner at the palace there in Dubai. So how cool is that? Um, but anyway, just wanted to um, ask you, what is a powerful habit that sets your life up to win? And uh, how can you do it no matter how crazy or silly or how cold it is out? Um, you know, just be consistent and consistency is where you get the pattern of success that builds one step at a time. So I love you guys, bless you all and uh, join me for my webinar tomorrow if you want. It's going to be at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, 8 o'clock, let's see you guys are 8 hours difference, 10 p.m. Uh, there in Pakistan. So love to connect with all you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.